Hi everyone and welcome back to Foxy's YouTube channel where we do unboxing, reviews and product demos on the latest tech. Today we'll be doing a product overview and review of the Philips 558M1RY gaming monitor. This impressive monitor combines both the best bits of a TV and gaming monitor from its 4K resolution to 120Hz refresh rate and much more which we'll discuss in this video. First of all, this 55 inch monitor is just huge and its design is really elegant and sleek. As a monitor this large, it's not really going to fit on your average desk so you might want to consider where you'll be putting it. Luckily, the design isn't too gamery, so although I think it would be awesome for a gaming room, I also think it would look great in a living room on a TV stand such as we have done. The bezels are really thin, so it gave me the maximum amount of screen space, and it has an integrated soundbar by Bowers & Wilkins, which comes already attached to the bottom, so there's no messing around when setting up. The soundbar fits the premium design on the TV. It's made with a lovely wool blend fabric created by Quadrat, which not only looked good, it did a great job of allowing the details in the sound to travel into the room. This monitor has no pivot, swivel or rotation. This is most likely due to its size and the fact that it seems like a monitor that's designed for you to be sat directly in front of it. It can however tilt for a more comfortable viewing angle whether you're sitting on a chair or the floor. In terms of controls, this monitor has a small joystick on the back, but due to the size of the TV and the fact that you'll most likely be sitting a short distance from it, this wasn't very convenient to use, which is why it's great that Philips have provided you with a remote which allows you to easily control a range of settings. On the back of the TV, we have Philips Ambiglow, which is a lovely little addition. You can even set it to analyse the colour of the content on the screen and it will adapt the colour and brightness of the LED that are placed around the TV to create a halo of light around the TV that matches what's on screen, which is really cool. The widescreen VA panel offers incredible 4K resolution, which is really impressive for a monitor. This gave me crystal clear visuals and a range of content from media streaming to games. On top of this, it has excellent colour reproduction as it covers 125% of the sRGB colour spectrum and also has 4000 to 1 contrast ratio. And it's also HDR1000 certified, so it produces 1,000 nits of brightness and can achieve over 1 billion colours per pixel. I felt the monitor gave really deep colour and vibrant visuals on both games and movies. This screen has multi-view enabled so you can work from two devices at one time and have them up on the big screen. For example, you can play games on the PlayStation whilst also watching your favourite streamers. It also has Smart Image which has set HDR modes for a range of different content. It has HDR Game which gave brighter whites and darker blacks, making the screen seem much more cinematic and it also works as a shadow booster so you can see more details in the dark such as hidden enemies. HDR movie gives better contrast and brightness which makes movies and shows look a lot more realistic and for my fellow content creators it has HDR photo which gives enhanced red, green and blue for vibrancy in the visuals. This monitor is packed with 120Hz refresh rate and 4 millisecond response time which is of course gaming monitor levels and is significantly faster than most TVs. This gave a really fluid game play experience that you'd expect from an impressive monitor but on the size of the TV and I didn't experience any stuttering or ghosting which was great. It also has low input lag which gave me a competitive advantage when it came to fast paced and competitive games and it has AMD FreeSync Premium Pro which of course helps to keep gameplay smooth, reactive and immersive. It also has a range of game settings such as a crosshair feature and smart response which is an overdrive setting that has three levels to choose from to help keep motion blur to a minimum. Philips flicker free technology and low blue light settings help to keep gaming and media streaming comfortable even when you're using the monitor for a long time as these features reduce eye strain and fatigue. In terms of sound, it's just as impressive as the visuals. The Bowers & Wilkins soundbar gives a 40 watt output with its two tweeters, two 10 watt speakers and one 20 watt subwoofer which were pretty loud and gave a punchy bass. To be honest, this soundbar is a lovely addition and it gave really impressive sound which you don't expect from a monitor. I do think this is something that really makes this stand out. It also has six preset modes to give you the optimum settings for a range of media, from sports mode giving realistic sound to adventure mode which gives a more atmospheric sound. In terms of ports, on the back we have a variety of USB ports, a headphone jack, display ports and three HDMI ports which make it easy to connect a variety of devices from your consoles to your PC and it's also Visa mount compatible for those who may want a wall mount. Overall this monitor is pretty epic. 
Its size, design and 4K display makes it feel like a TV, but its 120Hz refresh rate, 4 millisecond response time and low latency remind you that it's a monitor designed to give you a smooth gaming experience. I would say that of course, due to its size, it definitely needs either a suitable stand or to be wall mounted, which is something to bear in mind if you're considering this monitor. Thanks for watching Vox's review of this Philips gaming monitor. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with the latest tech reviews. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.